Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to walk you through with the simple procedure of backing up a Windows Server 2012 R2 domain controller using native backup tool of Windows Server 2012, which is Windows Backup. Now, Windows Backup tool, it's a good enough tool to back up a domain controller. Unlike other third-party backup solutions, Windows Backup tool no longer supports a backup to tape feature. So you'll need to have a disk available on your server and it should not host any operating system files or Active Directory NTDS database or log files. Now in my lab environment, I have a domain controller which is running Windows Server 2012 R2 with two disks. Let me show you that. So I have a C drive which has operating system files including my Active Directory NTDS database and log files. And then I have a D drive which is a dedicated drive used only for backups. So before we can start the backup on a domain controller or on any Windows server, we need to install Windows Backup feature. So I'm going to run the PowerShell as an admin and I'll type add Windows feature, Windows Server Backup. All right, it's going to install the Windows Server Backup feature. Okay, so it is successful. I'm going to exit this out and I'm going to open up Server Manager and I'll click on Tools. And if I scroll all the way down, I can see Windows Server Backup. All right, I'll click on Local Backup. And for this demo, I'm just going to click on Backup Once, which will back up the server for one time. Now, if you're looking to schedule your backups on a regular basis, you can click on Backup Schedule. So I'm going to click on Backup Once. Since I don't have any scheduled backups running on the server, and this is the first time that we are going to run the backup for the server. Different options has been selected and scheduled backup options is disabled. So I'm going to click next and I'll say full server which is recommended because I want to backup everything. So I'm going to click next and I'll select local drive and I'll click next. And I'm going to select my dedicated drive which is backup drive which is D drive. I'm going to click next and I'm going to click on OK on this message. Basically it says do you want to exclude your backup drive from being backed up which I want to. So I'm going to click on OK. All right you can review your backup items and you can see here the advanced option is set to VSS copy backup. So I'm going to click on backup. All right now it's going to take some time to backup the server. All right, the backup has completed. So I'm going to click on close. And if I click on this and if I click view details, I can see the details of the backup. Now, if you want to check the latest backup of your domain controller, all you need to do is go into the command prompt and type rep admin space show backup which will show you the timestamp of when your domain controller was backed up. So if I see here, uh, the timestamp that I can see is 21st December 2015, 1.17. And if I see matches up with the end time of the backup, which is showing up in Windows Server Backup Console. All right, so this is how you are going to back up the domain controller using Windows Server Backup Tool. I hope you like this video. For more videos like these, please subscribe to my channel.